Hey guys, it's Redstone Commander. This is my welcome welcome to my video of the Pigeon Forge Adventures 2. This is for a Diesel Ducey and all of you Diesel Ducey fans and all of you elevator fans and hotel fans. So I'm only 17 minutes away to Pigeon Forge. Well, stay tuned. Well, well, let's wait till the next transmission and time lapse video. And we'll see you when I get there. I'm now in the hotel doing what I should have done a long time ago. Making a YouTube video for Diesel Ducey. This is the outside with some cool fancy lights. This is where you enter. Where all of our luggage is going to be stored on this very thing right here. Hangers where you hang your clothes right over here. This, if you want to hang your clothes or bags, you hang those right on those little things right here. And you look at that. There's even some fancy landscape lighting. Me, my biological father, and my mother are planning to have landscape lighting like this in the front yard and probably the backyard too. But none of that stuff. We are in for the goods. We're going to be inside. All right. We're heading inside. It's very warm in here. So this is what the inside of the courtyard by Marriott looks like. Pretty cool. It looks really unique. There's a fireplace right over here. I'm thinking that's where the heat comes from. Yep, this is the main, this is the family area. Now on to the elevators. And this is what you're waiting for, Diesel Ducey. This is the... Disincrupt elevators. Like no. Oh, look at the cool color change the lights back there. There's melon and cucumber in this one. I'll see you. Yep. No, this we're confused. Alright. Yep. Let's go, guys. It's a decent crop. Mmm. Alright. And it's a double sided door area. I'm not sure if this is a decent crop or Otis. Two. Two. Oh, it's an Otis. It's an Otis? <laughs> yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Do you know what Otis time. is? Yeah. Yeah, it's another elevator company. So we're on the second floor? Yep. Floor number two. Which? 204. All right, so this is the hotel room of choice. Let's take a look at what we have here. <laughs> I'll be placing my soft speaker here. A lamp that turns, a switch that turns on nothing. There's a storage area with a microwave. We have a cool desk lamp. It's the past and the future, right here. I don't know where the switch is. Oh, oh, I think the switch is over here. There you go. So here is what the lamp looks like. It's a really cool one. I think this one looks pretty fitting. And they turn the lights on. This kind of reminds me of the Disney World Contemporary Resort. Hey, come here. Hmm. And my mom wants me to take a look at the balcony. Look that way. What? To ouch! I just got static shock. Oh. That's the steering wheel right there. That's the Ferris wheel right there. That's the island. And the last time we went to the steering wheel, the island, the, the, Ferris wheel? the lighting, the lighting was glitched and it was always green. Now they fixed it. 
That's pretty cool. You can see all those lights, though, huh? I was expecting it to... I was expecting this room to not have a balcony. And it is. It does have a balcony. Heck yeah, it does. And guess what? This pulls out into a couch or into a bed. And this kind of reminds me of the contemporary resort at Disney World. A little bit, yeah. The contemporary world, the, the contemporary resort have rooms that are similar to this. This lamp is supposed to turn on, but unfortunately the bulb is kind of burned out. Really? Yeah, I'm not sure if you want to twist it or something and turn it on. Yup, it's dead. Ah, that's okay. What about this guy? There we go. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And what a hotel room cannot be complete without my buddy mood lamp right here. Hey, buddy. Shower. Price for two nights was three eighty eight plus fifty dollars in tax. Ooh, what is this? Which goes to? Whoa! Who did that? Look at look at the bathroom in here. Charlotte, turn the light on. Yeah. Hey, you're not filming, are you? No, I'm pointing away. The mirror's supposed to light up, but. The CFLs on that mirror is also dead. Yeah, so, somehow, somehow the hotel staff forget to replace some of the bulbs in certain rooms. Yeah, the hotel staff can be lousy sometimes. And this closet actually leads to somehow an to an adjoining room. So, there's a case if you have like a a personal entourage or Uber. You can have them right over here, and yourself can be over here. And of course, yeah, this this leads to an adjoining room. Leads to 305, I think. And of course, Honeywell thermostat. This is the actual closet. Yeah, that's the bedding for your bed up there. That's all the mattress. You got an ironing board, hangers, and of course, a room safe to keep all your valuables. And it's so strange that this closet door has both mirrors. In the master room, we have a huge, gigantic mirror with a cool little sink, a soap bar, some, I think some lipstick. We have some towels right over here more towels and some freaking cleaning and makeup stuff of course we have a cooler toilet right over here more towels and a dark gunshot shower right here with several different soaps hanging on the walls right over here i'm not sure how the hotel staff can be able to change for some new soaps but I do appreciate the hotel and how they do the steaming around here. It makes you feel like you're actually staying somewhere fancy. Well, I guess that does it for the hotel room tour. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, rate, and comment. And we'll see you guys later.